videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Few stars have ever experienced such a large rise to fame over such a short period of time like Bad Bunny. His 2018 verse on the remix of Cardi B's I Like It first brought him to the mainstream's attention and ever since then, his gigantic social media following has transformed this 28 year old into a superstar whose music has dominated the global market. By 2020, Bad Bunny had become the most streamed artist on the planet and in 2022, his world tour became the highest grossing of the year, ranking in over $230 million in earnings, a new worldwide record. As you might imagine, with profit margins like those, Bad Bunny has been so busy, he's barely had any time to return to his main residence located in San Juan, Puerto Rico. There, Bad Bunny rents an apartment with his girlfriend, a Gabriela Berlingeri, where the two spent the vast majority of the pandemic a few years ago, sheltering at place with one another in this apartment, as he revealed to Rolling Stone during a profile written on him in 2020. Outside of that one media hit in the rare Instagram live clip, not much else has been revealed about Bunny's San Juan place. Instead, whenever he's asked to talk about his home, he likes to reflect on some of his favorite neighborhoods, like La Perla, where he often travels to listen to music, enjoy the nightlife, as well as play basketball and dominoes. Having traveled all around the world multiple times, Bad Bunny still considers Puerto Rico his favorite place to go, especially whenever he gets the opportunity to visit his hometown of Vega Baja. But if you're looking for more specific details when it comes to where Bad Bunny rests his weary head at nights, then we'll have to head over to Miami, Florida, where the international artist has created his very own Airbnb. After staying in a few Airbnbs while visiting Florida for work, the artist decided to take the unusual step of opening up his own in the city of Miami, which fans could then rent out for one night only at a rate of $91 a visit. A nod to the record-breaking 9.1 billion streams he achieved on Spotify in 2021. The thing is, this place, it's not a home. It's not even an apartment. Instead, Bad Bunny decided to build it inside of a semi-truck and design the entire thing to include a kitchen, living room, and bedroom that come together as a celebration of his life and career. The 53-foot-long West Coast Customs Designed Rig boasts a striking matte black finish across its exterior. Then, on the inside, you'll find plenty of bright colors, bold patterns, and even luxurious furniture that personifies Bad Bunny's one-of-a-kind style. When discussing why he selected a semi-truck as the location for his Airbnb, Bad Bunny said in a press release, I'm hoping that by hosting guests in my truck, I can give them a chance to feel like they're on tour with me. This truck has played such a big role in the concept of my tour and my last album that I want to share this unique experience with them. As hinted at in that statement, this Airbnb draws inspiration from some of Bunny's most popular music videos, including a bedroom decked out with flowers like in Yo Perio Sola as well as other spaces that allude to the aesthetic seen in the likes of La Noche de Anoche. Now, of course, this was all a limited time offer and one that by now has run its course, but lucky fans who got to experience this for themselves last year also received VIP tickets to Bad Bunny's sold out tour in Miami, as well as a virtual greeting from the artist himself when they arrived at their destination. While his ties to Miami might not have been permanent, recently Bad Bunny has taken steps towards buying his first real piece of property in the United States, a new home located in Los Angeles, California. The man that's frequently been referred to as the world's biggest star now has a piece of property that truly cements his A-list status after saying, I like it like that to an eight $8 million LA estate perched high up on the Hollywood Hills above the city's bustling Sunset Strip. Though the house was never officially listed at the time Bad Bunny made his acquisition, it had previously been placed on the market last year with an asking price of $9 million. The first thing you'll notice about Bad Bunny's new Los Angeles zip code is that the property boasts gates and an enormous wall that shields the home from public view and offers parking for up to as many as six cars. Cars. The nearby garage is attached to a two-story guest house that's just a short walk from the main house and when combined, both structures have a total number of eight bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and just under 8,000 square feet of living space. 
Recently renovated, Bad Bunny's main house offers whitewashed interiors and lavish contemporary finishes. Inside the main house is set up with an open plan living space that includes a sunken living room located next to a chef's kitchen that's been decked out with multiple ovens, a large Eden Island, and a series of sliding doors that open seamlessly to the outdoors. Not far from there is the home's gorgeous dining room that's been decorated with a giant satellite style chandelier and also features a wet bar that blends into the nearby living room. Meanwhile, while well, upstairs, the primary suite includes a private balcony as well as an oversized walk-in closet that comes complete with its own sitting area. There's also an all-white ensuite bathroom that boasts a huge glass-walled rain shower as well as a soaking tub nestled into a windowed alcove. Situated on a half-acre lot of land, this property also features something of a rarity in this area of the Hollywood Hills. A large and fully functional backyard with a sprawling lawn, ample sized patios, an infinity edge pool, and an awesome barbecue center. Better yet, the home also offers a breathtaking panoramic views of the city lights and nearby wildlife. Take all of that into consideration and you can see exactly why someone as successful as Bad Bunny is ready to call this place home. But before we finish our tour for the day, let's take a look at one last way that this Puerto Rican artist has put down roots in the US. When you're as big a deal as Bad Bunny is at some point, it only makes sense to diversify your career portfolio. And I'm not just referring to this international superstar becoming a part-time wrestler in WWE. No, he's also decided to create and open a lushly decorated Japanese steakhouse in Miami, Florida called Gecko. In an interview with Food & Wine, the rapper explained why he chose Miami as the place to open his first eatery, stating, the culture reminds me of home. Miami is a city where I can relax. I love to go out to eat, see the ocean. It's just a great city. Just a few weeks after announcing his newest business, the front doors of Gecko were thrown open in a star-studded debut. According to a press release, Bad Bunny's new restaurant can house up to 185 guests across indoor and outdoor spaces. It was designed by the Rockwell Group and boasts a vibe-heavy jeweled tone decor, including a custom gold and red dip dye rope installation, graphic wall coverings, velvet drapery, as well as backlit cutouts and bars to enhance the nightclub-like vibe. And as for its menu, this Japanese steakhouse offers shared plates such as Japanese milk bread, lava and ice oysters, lobster dumplings, and a wedge salad with buttermilk dressing. From there, you can move on to raw plates of sushi and sashimi. As for the steaks, expect tomahawk cuts, olive-fed filet mignon from Japan, Wagyu skirt steak and bone and ribeye. And if you prefer your meat a little less red, there are also plant based chicken options and spicy lobster. I gotta be honest, reading those last couple of paragraphs out loud has left me super hungry for lunch. So I'm gonna bring this tour to a close. Thanks so much for joining me in this look into the homes of Bad Bunny. Before you leave, consider answering the following question. If you opened an Airbnb meant to encapsulate your life, where would you put it? Let me know if you'd select something even more random than a long haul truck in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to never miss an episode. My name is Kara. If you liked today's tour, then keep watching as we enter the homes of Cardi B and her hubby Offset. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Cardi B has been telling us since her 2018 hit song, I Like It, that nobody stunts half as hard as she does. And this little tidbit of information has never been truer than it is today after this freshly turned 29 year old received a truly epic birthday gift from her husband, rapper Offset. And no, I'm not talking about their newly delivered beautiful baby boy. Instead, I'm referring to the $1.49 million investment property they just scooped up in the heart of the Dominican Republic. And today, we're gonna check it out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Cardi B is a rapper who first kicked off her career as an internet celebrity. These days, she's worth an estimated $24 million, and she lives with her husband Offset and their children in a gorgeous Atlanta mansion. Now the happy family also has the vacation home of their dreams. Cardi has long been imagining herself owning a rental property, and now that day has finally arrived. She wrote on Instagram, 
For a hot minute now, I've been telling Seth that I really want to invest in a short-term home rental property in the DR and other Caribbean countries, but I felt like he didn't agree with me and would rather put money into other investments. Well, as Cardi herself soon found out, she was completely wrong. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to get an inside look at Cardi B's tropical paradise getaway that you too could potentially stay at. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Let's get one thing clear off the top. As unbelievably gorgeous as this new home is, you need to keep in mind that it isn't even Cardi B or Offset's primary place of residence. After all, how many Hollywood celebrities do you know like to shun their entire industry by living their days off continent on a Caribbean island somewhere? Yes, I'm aware that's basically how Sean Connery spent a lot of his final decades on this earth, but let's be honest, that's one ornery and unique Scotsman right there. And while Cardi B and Offset are most certainly unique, they aren't quite as anti-social as Connery could sometimes be. Which is why they'll still be spending most of their days living in their mansion out in Atlanta, Georgia. A while ago we took a look at that place with its very own house tour. So if you're interested in seeing inside their everyday family home, be sure to check that video out when you're through with this one. But for now, let's kick things off by walking you through how Cardi received one of the biggest surprises of her life. It all started with the birthday celebration that was thrown for Cardi a short time ago in LA, a dance hall themed event that was full of Hollywood superstars. At one point during the night, Offset took to the stage to shock everyone in the room by announcing that since he had already bought Cardi some of the biggest diamonds in the world, next he was going to get her something that meant even more. That's when he dropped the bombshell by revealing that he had bought Cardi her dream vacation home in the Dominican Republic. After hearing this news, Cardi B was left speechless, which I'm assuming was probably one of the first times that's ever happened to her in her life. And really, who could blame her? Just wait till you get a peek inside this place. While it's unknown exactly how much Offset wound up spending on this property, it should be noted that prior to this sale, this 7 bedroom, 7 bathroom mansion, situated on 8,000 square feet of hillside, had previously been on the market for a listed price of $1.49 million. This four-story residence is located in a private and gated community in the resort town of Las Terrenas that boasts three outdoor tennis courts, private beach access, and even its own helipad. Moving on to the property itself, this home features not one but two primary entrances. Once you've stepped foot inside, you'll quickly come to realize that one of the coolest things about this home is how much it embraces its surrounding landscape by using mostly natural materials throughout the home's interior construction. The gorgeous texture of exposed wood is what especially stands out as a pop of color against the otherwise white walls of the inside of the home. And nowhere is this any clearer than when you're looking at the central staircase that simply put could take your breath away with its expert craftsmanship. Further into the home, the kitchen offers up a double fridge alongside the standard appliances like a microwave, burner gas stove, and island bar with classic seating arrangement. The nearby dining room is connected to the kitchen and offers breathtaking views of the surrounding area thanks to its floor to ceiling windows. Moving on to the living room, things might look a little cramped in here, but there's no shortage of seating options, and that flat screen television is almost always going to have some steep competition, with the dramatic views going on just outside of the nearby sliding door. Of the seven bedrooms that are available, I don't think anyone is gonna feel put out if one room gets claimed before another, because they're almost all the same size. But I will say that whoever winds up with the bedroom that walks directly out to the lap pool is definitely the winner in my book. Not to mention up on the roof of the building, there's even more going on. I'm talking a rooftop infinity pool with built-in lounge chairs, fountains, and picturesque views of the surrounding lush greenery. There's also that smaller sized lap pool that's available for those looking to be a little more active minded with their downtime. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going for the infinity pool and a floaty type of vibe. 
Finally, there's a rooftop dining area that comes complete with a grill, sink, and overhead awning for those rare nights when that island weather just isn't cooperating with whatever you have planned. Oh, and did I mention the gym? Because yep, that's up there too. Last but not least, the property also features an individual one bedroom studio that has its own living room, bedroom, and bathroom. As I mentioned earlier in the video, despite how amazing this home obviously is, the primary reason that Offset bought it in the first place was so that Cardi could finally live out her dream of having an investment property. After Offset announced his surprise gift to his wife Cardi, took to Instagram to let the world know how happy she was that her hubby had been listening to her the entire time, even when she thought he hadn't been. She wrote, I'm so happy that you are actually listening to me and not just smiling and nodding your head so I could stop talking to you about it. You don't think my investment ideas are whack. And while it's unclear how much exactly Cardi stands to make from this new property, you can already rent the place out yourself over on Airbnb, where it's available at around $836 a night. I'll do some quick math just to give you an idea for how much Cardi might be raking in. So at $836 a night, let's assume that a place this nice gets rented out at least five nights a week. That gives us a weekly haul of around $4,200, give or take. That $4,200 would turn into about $17,000 a month, which means that annually, Cardi and Offset would be clearing around $200,000. Not so shabby. In about a decade or even less, this place will have paid for itself. So now we've seen Cardi B's beautiful new Dominican oasis, and that brings us to the end of our house tour. What do you guys think about Cardi's newest business idea? Would you rather just live in this dream home yourself rather than rent it out? Which was your favorite room or spot in the vacation mansion? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to like and subscribe to our content. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.